So, hi everyone. So, let's go to the next lesson. Um, the gentleman before was Sifu Peter. He's one of my head guys in Vienna, Austria. This is Sifu Jengis. is in the Stuttgart area in Germany, Lake Forest. Um, okay, there's a very good uh, Schwarzwälde Kirschtorte. A cake. Oh my god, a cherry cake. And you got train hard, okay? Chocolate, eight bar. It's not six. One, two, three, four. Just for my ego, okay? So, um, now the next lesson will be about the Bongzhou. Last time we had Tanzhou. Now, again, as I mentioned earlier, structurally nothing changes uh, in scientific terms, but I will go in details here as well. So, if Sifu Jengis attacks me with a punch, I'm, I'm launching forward. You see, if my angles, again, my geometrical static of my Manza, Buza, the, the three dimension, plus energy, fourth dimension, you see, I will split this force, boom, and he will run into my punch and I can go. Right? Unless, unless he's strong enough uh, to suppress, suppress, deform, and bend my energy. So, if I go in here, it's, as you can see, I have not changed, see, I'm still in the front, not changed his direction at all. The same at the downtown zone, he comes in, so, now if you look at this, my hand is totally free, a lot of people do, Bongs are like this. This is no bongs are. Whatever I call the push cell. <laughs> so, okay, look. So the hand is totally free. So if Sifu Jenkins steps aside, can I check it? Look. If I go ahead. So it's no different than the Sium Tao. Again, here too, bongs are. Don't go by lineages. Whose bongs are is who's this? The whole idea is to repetition to the method of Chi Zhao. A lot of repetition. This forward energy becomes a part of your muscle memory, part of you. You train this movement into your unconscious. So there are people in Wing Chun, they use the terms active, passive. But the truth is, active, yes, but passive means no participation at all. And that's not true because since we have to be always pushing forward, so we're constantly active actually. The, the, the right terminology for that is unconsciously. We train that movement into our muscle memory, that from conscious, the, movie, the movement becomes into your, or gets into your subconscious. So you don't think about it anymore, and it happens. So that's more correct than saying passive. Passive means I'm not participating in punch movement. And I think you are quite a bit participating. Who likes to get punched, right? So, but here, you shoot out forward. Once the connection is, my energy goes, if, if Sifu, Jengis makes a mistake, Phew, my hand continues his way, it doesn't stop. Like water, you push against the uh, dam. If the dam breaks, goes, or if the dam doesn't have any holes, you can uh, release some water, goes over on top. So right to the water, you cannot stop. So actually, the punches are like this. You see, the punch, you see? But now, you can, I punch here and go in. But this, you can already call bongs up. You see? Just a little thing. Uh, now. What I like to emphasize again, you're not like Madame Tussaud, remember that the wax figure cabinet where you're waiting, like this kind of Wing Chun, right? You have emotions, you're a human being, you're angry. So much as you train any movement you learn in the system under stress and put it into your system and your muscle memory, each. I gave you examples earlier, like how Thai boxers train, how Wing Chun people should train, how boxers train. And Wing Chun people generally like to pose and talk and make nice movements and that's it, collect the movement. You know, that's not fighting. So you gotta, every little movement you have to train very hard. Now, the same idea here. I am launching forward too. If I'm angry and there's a situation how to defend myself and he rushes in, <coughs> see where I am? I'm not here anymore. I'm crashing forward. What's happened slowly? Boom, it deforms my arm by suppression. My body continues. My static pushes my body away from this big force, so the second hand is not standing still. Boom! His moving in, and my moving forward, and my fist, I get more impact on my punch. So, if my punch is relative to train, I will have a lot of income. Bang, bang, bang. And I continue, of course, charging. So, the same thing, again, if you look at the Siyum Tao, see, a lot of people do bongs like this, or like this, or they do this and this, that's wrong. 
So if you look at that seven, I go forward to suppression. See what's happened? So that's the movement you're creating at your form, how you get out. So the forward energy, not lifting or coming from the out to the in. Elbows already up and you go forward, okay? So, however, the structure in Bong Zhao, like I explained in, in Tan Zhao, the determination is not who master, who's your master, whose lineage you're training. Those are people that don't understand Wing Chun scientifically because they have to they have to do this. They have to go to China and come with funny stories back uh, to their students and, and every couple of months or years they're changing programs. So the highest advanced person starts to start again so they can stretch the system so the student uh, have to pay rest of their life or, or uh, depend on the teachers. Atmos is different. Every of my instructors or students from zero to highest level, they go through the same procession. They have to learn everything in detail. They can explain everything, but scientifically. Not who's bongs are, who's bongs are. None of my students could ever be capable to move exactly like me. But now, am I special or no? I don't think, I'm just a human being who is just specialized, very intense to fight. I just understand fighting, I understand you have to train hard. Now, the point is, nobody in this earth can move like me. So, can I not move like any of my students? So, each are individual persons. So, the emotions determine their reactions and their action, their aggressiveness in a fight. So, my emotion, what I carry with me, is mine, and theirs is theirs. So, this means all of my students can be calm, one day even 10 times better than me, and that's my goal. They only have one problem, my students, compared to these other secret sellers and mythic creators in Wing Chun or any style. My students have a problem. I stay fit the rest of my life. This is their problem. I'm going to make their life hard to be better than me, because I'm going to stay fit for a very, very long time. So they have to train hard, which gives them good. They're going to have a long time education and, and the fighting and my experience. You know, look, there's the system, there's fighting, Right? And that's me. So, my students are all of them. And I believe most other Wing Chun people don't have it from their teachers because either they cannot fight, or most of them, 99%, they don't understand science. Maybe bits and pieces, but that's not science. Anything bits and pieces is a method still. Method may work, not work. Science, a system, always works. So, the main idea is what we're doing is technical, so you understand the elementary movements. Uh, Gradually, as I said earlier, we're going to go faster and higher level, but all these movements is in sections and movements that you understand. But there is another way, and I think another segment, so from now, six months later, if you went through the basics, you understand. I'm going to show you how to put every movement under stress through focus mid, wall backs, all different types of training, and, and sparring type of training that will make it work for you, because this is all still technically. I can demonstrate how it's supposed to look like. I demonstrate you now the mathematics behind, the science behind, the anatomical issues behind, and the psychology behind. So once you have all this, because before that I cannot let you any focus work if you cannot punch, if you don't understand this, right? So once you have it, you can go more, much more in details how to make parallel to your studies, to your learning, no matter which level you are, each movement's powerful, dynamic. That's the most issue here. Most Wing Chun people are not dynamic. I can do everything I teach you on my students with any strangers. I don't need to study. So I want you to understand that. You can call this big talk or something. I can. That's why people respect what I do. And I respect other people. They understand that. Because I train hard. And that's the most important thing in Wing Chun. You cannot run around by because you're on the front cover of a magazine or you did some movies or you're famous or you, you had the touch grandmaster Yip Man. Right? Or you go, or people go, oh, he's Chinese, he must be good. No, I'm not Chinese but I'm one of the best Wing Chun people in the world. Because I know what it takes to be there, so I want you to be there too. doesn't matter which nationality you are or whatever. You can be the best person in Wing Chun in the world if you want to, okay? So, now, Again, here's the same concept. If he punches me, both hands goes, this doesn't stop, the body continues to flex and hits him. So the impact is the same, as I said earlier. If Sifu Jang is punching me with the other hand, it doesn't matter parallel or cross hand. Again, here too, if in case he punches indoor and his pressure goes this way, boom, so I have to do Kwanza. I can do here, boom, and the Kwanza will come from me. Or if he comes with the other hand here, I go see. And I have to Kwanza go in here. So next lesson, I'm going to teach you Kwanza. And assume that this movement, 
because it's a very essential movement. This cries out in every rest of your movements, no matter what you do, it's always present. It's a very key movement in the Ching system. So structurally, as I explained in Tanzo, with the center line, if you look at the center line, half of my arm actually is below, half is up. Half is in front of my body, half is behind, from this line where the punch is. You always, the point of view is the punch. Same in Tanzo. See, half is in front, half is back, but half is left of the punch, or on my body, half is right. Right? Now, if you look at it from this perspective, let's stay like this, so the camera can catch. Now, half is left, half is right, you see? Now, you can see half is low, half is high. You understand? So, and all happens on your wrist for this. So, if he steps in, boom. Now, if he goes away, so, you see? The anti Norton virus protection. Or whatever you call it. It's, a, it's like computer language. It's a assume totally the little idea. It's not just a static information, the geometrical measurements. It's not just information for physics, for the energy you have everywhere, which is in the form, right? And it's not only the, the movements, physics, but also has breathing, also has meditative issues, but he also has fighting aspects in it. But if people don't understand, or oh, I just perform correction. You can use the Xian Tao as any moment as you want to protect your, uh, uh, correct your movements, your positions, if you want to, right? But again, in a real fight, I want you to watch very careful. It's going to be very fast, you know. It's going to give me a very powerful, fast punch. I want you to see if my bones are there or not. Okay, one more time. So, or, get them off, Ludo. Which one you prefer? So then I said, I'm trying to say, you become water, you become ice cube, you become water. So in a fight, you cannot become ice cube in the middle. So you know what people do with ice cube? Throw and you play baseball. You hit them. Okay? So don't get rigid. So the whole idea, you have to go to that state to be fluent. Okay? Right. Thank you very much. So I see you for the next lesson. One's out. Bye. <laughs>
if this is an energy goes forward and it's get disturbed and suppressed, look, because my witness here, from, if you look at my, my position, when I force this forward, this is a straight line, but also the elbow. So actually, my elbow forcing in the, this wide angle forward. So if, he, if I would be too, too slight, he would go through, you see? So because of the angle, I have this to cut him off. Intercepting fist, that's what comes from. Remember? So Bruce, you get the idea actually from here. Now when this happens, he was also a surface to put the suppression. If he's not strong, I will cut him. If he's strong, he will use the same angle I have to cut him against me. Which means he suppresses my energy. But which means I give in. You know? First, if the way is open, go in. If he's stronger, I'm giving in. Now what's happening? He's pushing the shoulder back. Let's go forward. This acceleration gives me power. Now, but still, I'm here. In real, I would not stay here. If the real situation is, I would not go like, like Madame Tussou and... Right? So, I would punch up. I would go in. So, my body moves in. If you punch with the other hand, so that if I'm here, you see what's happening? I'm in the air, and you suppress me. My own smaller force with the static, that's why the static is so important, I don't collapse, will also not, not change his direction, but divert my body whole move 45 degrees away, and I could go this way. So, the slow motion, bang, 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 bang. So I come from the flank with my entire body because I'm advancing. Now imagine he comes along at me, my own punch power and my step, the entire movements, 100% of my body weight is behind each punch I have. So in one step, all these punches, probably about five or six at the moment, is behind this step. And action, my total body weight. So it's not like my body weight is not moving at all here. Some people do that. Okay, careful with the camera. So do you understand what I'm trying to say? So you're not standing there and doing this. This is for very, very beginner. You learn the first time. Boom. Okay? So I don't know your level. If you're a beginner, it's okay to practice like this. But you know, I'm, I'm also looking around in the world how people are representing Wing Chun and it's difficult. So difficult not to get angry. Because this beautiful art gets damaged every day by these people that talk about fighting, they probably never fought in their lives. And even, even they have fought, doesn't matter. The analysis they give, the way they treat is, 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 is suicide. Sorry. I am totally with all these, these fighters. They, I agree with them. Most of these Wing Chun people, you can kick their butts. Sorry, my language, peep, MTV, remember peep? So, the problem is they're not training. If you understand, you have to train and sweat. Most Wing Chun people don't do this. What does a good Thai boxer do? He kicks like a thousand times low kicks. Every single day, left, right, boom, boom. The boxer punches, bam, bam. Every professional or heavyweight or pro, pro, uh, fighter, grappler, he does try. Or a judo guy, he just got bang, 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 bang. He's trying to get in here. He's working on What does the Wing Chun people do mostly? Train those muscles. Back, 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 back. I'm a Wing Chun person too. But I do train hard. I have a fit body. I'm almost 50. And I, I roll around, I do my anti-grappling, I do against the kicks, everything. So you have to shape every little movement, train very, very hard. The side product of that is your cardio, it's your muscle memory, your muscle strain, your body change, and, and, and of course you get flexible too. So people don't train, you can see gradually how the cheese on their belly is growing like this. That's not Wing Chun, these people are not fighters. I don't know what you call them, they're nothing, they're, they're not supposed to do, do, do it even. Because knowing somebody, you can read about books, accumulate lots of knowledge, but if you cannot transfer the physical action, who should believe you? You know, there's thousands of books on philosophy written, but how many people have those books perform in real life? Nobody. It's easy to give suggestions, but go and do. You know, you, you lose your girlfriend, you travel with boyfriends, hey, it's not worth it. Da, 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 da. If I cut your finger, or I cut my finger, and my partner says to me, does it hurt? Because he doesn't feel that pain. You know what I'm saying? So suggesting to give people is easy. Do is the, the difference. Doing. You gotta sweat. You gotta work very hard. Now, this is a tanzo. If you look at the center line, same thing here. If I'm here, yeah, if you look at my center line, he's right on my center line. If I go along my center line, half of my arm is on my right body, half is on my left body. You see? This is the center line. Half is below, half is up. Half is in front, half is behind. So I am 
equally balanced in every direction. Yeah? You understand now? So, if it goes away, this hasn't changed. So, if you look at this from the side, this might... Uh, so, my center line is here with the arm crossing. Half of my arm is in front. Half, you see? This is your bumper. It's crossing from shoulder to elbow. Later, of course, in bongs out too. But here. So, half of my arm is left, half is right. Look at half is low, half is up, and half is in front, half is back. This is yin and yang. This is what Wing Chun bases in Taoism. Equal balance. You know the logo? So, but you have to get there to be equally balanced so you don't anticipate the, 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 the movements of your opponent. So you have to be very, very good, right? But you have to train hard. So the first stadium of Wing Chun is Buddhism. What is Buddhism dealing with? Suffering. I'm not talking about suffering like somebody cutting you and chopping your arm. No, by drilling, training your body, making your body dynamic. So every movement, <coughs> this one, if, if he gives me this, <coughs> train on your partner, <coughs> train on your partners, your body gets under stress, on focus mitts, on a partner training, on aerobics. There's so many different uh, ways to, to practice the one movement, to stress it out. Under pressure, with power, speed, aggression, but no anger. You can put everything except anger because he's my student, I'm his teacher or your partner. So in, in, a, in a training, there's no anger. Anger is in the street. So, but you can go aggressive with it. So you can test those movements. So under dynamic, if you have a tons of uh, a little bit weak, not too strong, and somebody on impact hits you very hard, your own hand hits your face. So you must have that dynamic in your hand. Do you understand? So if you just like this, boom. If your body, if your muscle memory does not receive the proper instruction to drills, how can you, as an example, be explosive. How can you Im even slightly, remotely even imagine that you're going to be explosive? You never, never give that information to your muscle memory. You never train like that. Now, you see, this is the difference between us and Atmos and science and other big uh, Wing Chun people. Now, maybe a Thai boxer doesn't teach this to students or boxer, but they're doing it. See, they're hitting in the back. They go bang, 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 bang. They're hitting. So they're developing speed, power, and everything. Now, all these other Wing Chun uh, people, they're hiding between the philosophy, the ideology of Wing Chun. How about we don't need this simultaneously? Yes, my friend, it is, but you're not Wing Chun. You're a human being. Human beings make mistakes. And a lazy human being, an ignorant human being, will severely be punished by real attacks, by real life, not by theory. People don't punch you by, by talking. So you got to understand these points. So if we teach you in this program, all the necessary thing, and this is the first lesson for you. I want you to really go into it. You want to learn an art, but you want to really perform it and execute it, not just looking good. Okay? I don't need to be worried about looking good. If I practice, I sweat, my, my body change, okay? my attitude change, everything. I feel good, and I will look good automatically. So I don't need to be worried, all right? So I hope you understand a little bit about the Tanzo. doesn't matter he attacks left or right. doesn't matter he attacks my rear hand. I go here, is it both hands shooting out? If it comes cross over here, or he comes on my other hand in the front, boom, over the other hand. So, left, right direction or left, right hand, or, or rear hand, that's really not matter. So, that's another to say, we choose a system. I don't need to pre think, anticipate, oh, where, where I'm going to do what. Do you understand now? So, I'm going to continue the next lesson for me with the next technique, a little bit of dimension. So, but generally, I want you to understand how I think. How our philosophy in Atmos is, how we put Tree Wing Chun, pure scientifically, not according to some other people's lineage. You know, when I can defend myself and I can knock out that other guy on his ass, he doesn't hurt me or the loved ones I have, then I have time enough to talk about the family lineages. Alright, so, but this is like a side effect. If, if you buy medicine, there's a beautiful paper comes along with the tablets, it says a description, and then you go down and say side effects. A real Wing Chun, and you're a real Wing Chun man? The side effect is sweating, training your muscle memory, I mean like developing your muscle and flexibility. And the nice, nice side, not another side effect means realistic. You learn to understand reality, okay? Thank you so much for this lesson. I see you soon.